Hello everyone and welcome to the very first episode of my new Minecraft survival let's play. I actually had two survival let's plays in the past. One when I first started YouTube which I will link a bunch in the description because those ones aren't public. But then episode one of my last survival let's play you can find that on the screen right now. That was a pretty exciting journey as well but we are going to create our world here and then get a little more into it. Razors. No wait wait wait. Grazies. Hey, doesn't that sound cute? Grazy. Oh, crazy. All right, no, we'll call it Grazers. World of Awesomeness. The Grazers World of Awesomeness. I like that. Hopefully, I can actually live up to the title, but let's create the world and see where we spawn. This is everything, guys. I have no idea what's going to happen first, dependent on what biome we receive. Oh. Oh, beautiful. We're in a wonderful oak forest. This is like the natural Minecraft biome. I was a little bit scared I was going to spawn in like a desert or something, but we look pretty good on resources here. So let me go ahead and explain why I am starting this series. I have thought for a very long time now that I have needed a series where it is just me and it is no one else. And that way I can actually interact with you guys a lot more because if you guys give me ideas, I can implement them into the world and whatnot. And also cube this season is a lot different than it was in the last two seasons. It's not really just plain vanilla anymore. It's more like a war. And so the reason I hadn't started a survival let's play before is because I thought that the, the two series would be too similar and it'd be really repetitive. But in this season, it's like a war and we're fighting each other and it's more about like stories and fights and not really what a survival let's play is, which is more like just sheltering yourself, making things, exploring things. So this should be pretty fun. I'm here. This is the very first day. So I, sh I should probably stop talking now and get my stuff ready we are getting the very first wood in our world here before night i want to cut down a bunch of trees though and make my basic tools and then when we go exploring i'm going to try to find a village or a desert temple or a structure structure is what we want because that's going to provide us with a lot of valuables i'm just going to kind of scout out here and see what our world is looking like just want to walk around Hmm, what do we got? We got an ocean front there, it looks like. If I turn my render distance up, what are we gonna get? Yeah, that honestly, it looks like it could be an ocean. <laughs> Actually, that I, I like that. Because I think that one of my projects already... Ooh, yes, I like the ocean. I've already got some projects in mind. But let's go ahead and start making our resources here. As you can see, we're already one hunger down. We don't want to get too much of a bad start. Let me just quickly make a pickaxe. Let's get ourselves some quick stone. I think I'm going to quickly just cut down a bunch of trees in this forest. That's probably the first course of action I should do. Just so I have a bunch of wood on the ready. And also kill a couple chickens to get some food. Because <laughs> I don't want to starve to death. At least not in episode number... Number uno. All right, and our axe is gone. Perfect, we cut down just the right amount of trees here. It looks like we got quite a bit of wood. We have about a stack and a half of oak and 10 birch. I decided to go for the birch just because it's wood. I remembered that we weren't playing UHC and so I realized that any resource is needed in this game. And I also killed quite a bunch of chickens. I kind of ate them while I was cutting down the trees though. And so we don't have much food still. Oh my gosh, it is very close tonight. We have a cave right here that I think I want to kind of take shelter in. One of the big things I want to do here is I want to get to the end. There's a lot of stuff in the end that I've yet to explore, like the elytra and whatnot, and it would just make things so much easier if we went there pretty early on. There was coal just out here. I was just, I had an eyeball on it a second ago. Right down here. Hello, Mr. Cole. We're going to need you for some torches. <laughs> oh, and I wanted to also ask you guys a question about this series. What do you guys think about Gamma being up? So right now, Holy moly, <laughs> you are just running around. Right now my gamma is up, which means I can see everything in the caves, and I know you guys were cool with it for cube, and so I just want to know if I can keep it here for the survival let's play. Of course, I'm still going to need coal and torches, though, just to get rid of the mobs. Like, we almost just, like, we got hurt there by a skeleton. I personally prefer either way. I don't mind editing, like, really dark spots to be brighter like I used to do, but it's all up to you. Oh boy, I'm already forgetting a lot of the basics here, guys. I'm so used to the advanced stages of Minecraft that there are so many things that I'm going to probably forget to get, and that's what you guys need to be here for. You need to remind me to do it. Also, just let me know what you guys think of a series like this. It's something new that I haven't done in a very long time. Ooh, got more cave down here. And so a lot of uh, my newer viewers probably aren't used to something like this, and uh, it's different. So let me know. Let me know what you think. Well, we got some mushrooms! I was just worried about my food situation. Good, good, good. 
Well, I just realized those mushrooms aren't gonna go pretty far if we don't have the brown ones. There's a lot of coal, man. That's something I'd rather save for just off-camera work just because it's not really the most exciting thing in the world. So I'm gonna put all that in there. So now we've got a full set smelting, and now we have to worry about our food situation. Oh boy. Oh boy. Get out of here, buddy. Burn up. There you go. <laughs> Alright, guys. We're making our way out of the cave now. What I did just then is I got myself a, well, lava bucket. Full set of iron armor and a full set of iron tools. So not too much. And in the time that happened, I guess it turned back to daytime. Which is alright. Because I can do some exploring, which is good. When it reaches nighttime again, I will want to go and find those endermen, though, for the ender pearls. That is a big thing that I want. Just so that I can get to the end quicker. And also... Uh, the reason I kind of skipped out on that caving there is because we're going to be caving for more valuable stuff later on this episode, so I didn't want to take up some time with the necessities, like the basics. But as you can see in my little hunger bar here, my my character is not feeling that full. <laughs> he wants some food right about now, and so I killed some chickens. We're going to get that replenished. We have a full day ahead of us. We can quickly just scan our entire region, see what's up, what biomes we have around and whatnot. We got some squids over there. Is that a desert starting there? And why would we have a lava bucket without a beautiful water bucket? All right, let's pack up and go, shall we? Let's see what we've got in our region here. If we have a sea temple out there in the water, that would be like the best thing ever. I do see some odd generation. Now that's part of my gamma being up. Now if you guys vote that you want my gamma to be down, well then I can't actually really see through the water. Now to make this a little easier, I'm gonna put a poll in the description where you guys can vote on that rather than just a bunch of comments. That way I know like the full black and white answer. That is a desert. Yes, that is a desert right there. And what is this little indent? Ooh, okay, just a little uh, random hole. Okay, I wanna get some ink sacks, I think. Come here, buddy. It's your time. Forgot we're in 1.9, I got a full charge of my sword hits. If this is a big enough desert, we can go ahead and get a structure probably here. Hopefully we can find one. That'd be pretty cool. This desert is looking very promising. Okay, first things first, before we go and venture off anywhere, we need to mark off where our start was. So I'm gonna say our start was here on this island, and so we're gonna put an X, because X marks the spot, am I right? Nice little X. This is where we'll always come back to. So we've got the carving of the X here. Once we get red wool, we'll fill it in. And now I'm just gonna get a cobble pillar, pretty short going upwards, so that obviously then we'll have a nice clear indication on where our very beginning was. Obviously if we die, we're gonna be led back there as well. The first bunny in the world, the first two bunnies, the first three bunnies, four, aww. I came here for the pigs, but uh, those bunny rabbits, I think I want a pet bunny. Ooh, I wonder what his name would be though, ooh. You guys might have to help me out with that. A pet little baby bunny. Oh, so cute. Ooh. It looks like it might be surrounded by this plains. A lot of plains surrounding it. We have a very good spawn. Very nice biomes, some flowers everywhere. We even have a savanna out there in the distance. Oh yes, I'm loving this generation. <gasps> Our first village, guys, right over here next to the savanna. What will we uncover? Hopefully it's got a blacksmith, although I don't see one from here. There's an abundance of pigs around. It looks like <gasps> a horse too. We might just make a bunch of farms out here. This looks pretty promising. I might fence off a bunch of pigs right here and get some farms going. This might be our home. Just look at the surrounding. We've got a savanna, a desert, a freaking oak on extreme hills. This is crazy. That extreme hills is gonna be a very, very easy source of snow as well. All right, but let's go check out this village and see what it's got for us. Does it have a blacksmith? Ooh, it does not look like it. But the bottom line is, is it has villagers here. Let's just give it a quick glance. And it's probably gonna have some libraries as well. We're gonna need those libraries, yeah. Ooh, actually I can get an emerald off of you. Thank you. Emeralds, early emeralds are always, always good. Do you have an emerald trade? An efficiency three for five emeralds though. What do you got? Emerald trade at all yet? Emerald trade for an iron ax, not too worth it for me. Let's make our way over this way a little more. It doesn't look like there's any blacksmith that's gonna be located here, but we can harvest all of the crops, which is very good. <laughs> Cause I've been needing food forever. I've been hungry. And also at this village, we can get our potatoes because those are gonna be otherwise very hard to find. And what about some carrots right here? Beautiful. We are off to not a bad start, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this looks like a pretty weird... <laughs> There's a farm here. Pretty weird generation. Beetroot. 
That's a new 1.9 item. We'll kind of just store a lot of our stuff. We'll make this village our temporary home in case it turns night and we need some shelter. There we are. And we'll smelt this while we wait. Looking around, there is a lot of desert. So I would not even exclude the, the possibility of there being a desert temple still here. And usually desert temples spawn close to villages, so... We could have a chance. I'm just gonna grab all of this. <laughs> this is a big village for freaking crops, and I'm not gonna not gonna waste it. Any libraries though? One last check for a library. There should be one. Yep, there is. Ha <laughs> ha. We're gonna have a lot of books already as well. This seed is great. So what do you guys think about the seed? I haven't really kind of made up my mind. So with Cube, I never reveal the seed. But uh, in this Let's Play, I might just give it to you guys, just so you can kind of play along with me since I'm not playing with anybody else. Oh my gosh, all these books is just great. <laughs> uh, but let me know, that'll also be a poll down in the description below. I'm pretty sure there are only two libraries per village. But this one's pretty big, so I don't know. But it looks like the sun's going down now. So I'll take one last gander at the desert for a desert temple. But if not, we're going to go there anyways because we want some of those ender pearls. Let's remember our coordinates, 600, 200. Okay, just make one little easy, simple pillar. I'm going to be using a lot of pillars here in the beginning just to mark off where I've been and where I know to return. All right, guys, we have our very first enderman here up ahead. Let's hope we can get it one ender pearl. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping to get quite a few, actually. Guys, I don't know what's going on or if you can help me with this, but my internet is not going down. However, every once in a while... My single player world will lag and I have no idea why. It's very odd actually, but that just kind of costed my chances because now it's going to be a lot harder to take down this Enderman. Actually, I just remembered Endermen are really hard and difficult to beat in 1.9. Uh-oh. This is not going to be pretty. Oh, never mind. They're not as hard. <laughs> okay, so no Ender Pearl. Not too good. That was our first Enderman, and nighttime is just about halfway done here, so we're not on a very good streak. But on that note, it looks like I have pretty much explored the entire desert without going too far this way, which looks like it's going to be a dead end into a savanna regardless. So, not sure of any structures here, guys, unfortunately. <laughs> kind of sucks. Got some caves though. <laughs> no structures. One last look though. One last look. Yeah, we did not luck out on the whole desert temple. But you know what? We lucked out on snow here and back there. So it's really telling us to grab that. I'm going to actually just grab a bunch of snow real quick. Once we have some snow. Ooh, we can build a snowman if we find some pumpkins. <laughs> some defense. Let's grab quite a bit of this stuff. Ooh, a cow. Our very first leather. Like we need it. We have a bunch of books. <laughs> All right, we've got quite a bit of snow now. We can make some... So Whoa, that guy was running at me for a second. Don't you do that, my friend. Get out of here. Some actual snow. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Oh, enemy number two. Enemy number two. My goal at this point is to just get one ender pearl. Can we do it? He's all alone, too. No mobs around. This is perfect. Come on. Come here, little guy. Come on, you're running away. I don't like you running away like that. Run at me. Beautiful, beautiful ender pearl. Nothing again, huh? And there's our little pillar. That's how we know that's home. Guys, I was just setting up here and I found two endermen. We're guaranteed probably to get one ender pearl from this. Let's get it real quick. Come on, just one. Just one. Just one pearl. Just one pearl. I know you're mad at me, enderman. Let me kill the skelly. Now nah, you I think we just got a bow from that skeleton too. We did. Beautiful. Come on, enderman. Wow, you are loud, though. Holy frigger, you're loud. Where are you coming from? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Teleporting all over the place, huh? I'm gonna die. Where'd he go? He just stopped attacking me? Alright, I'll get this one, then. What happened to the other one? Okay, this guy's still after me. I'm gonna have to water you down. Because you might actually kill me. Yeah, just get away. I'm going to have a water defense here. <laughs> I'm not letting you get into this water. So my audio randomly cut out here. This is a new bug. I've never experienced this before in my life. I, I basically just died here. It was really coincidental that the audio cut out as I died. I promise I did not swear this isn't a cover-up. It actually did bug out. My editing system is killing me these days. Alright guys, as I was making my way back to my original location, I found another village here in the desert that I missed originally. 
but it looks like there's no blacksmith once again, but we have a lot more of these library cases, so we're getting a lot more books, which is good. I'm gonna need my axe, though. Oh yeah, this village is pretty much doomed for it's under a zombie apocalypse right now, uh-oh. My librarian should be safe in here. I'm just taking your books, buddy. You wanna die? I can kill both of you right now by opening up that door. You better have some good trades. Okay. All right. You guys are pretty much failures. Okay, now they're all coming in. All right, I will now leave and lock you guys in there. <laughs> Poor little villagers. Well, I don't really care for this village. Oh boy. Gotta get out of here. My area where I was just staying was just up here. All right, I see the village. I can no longer walk, but all my stuff is right next to it. That's where we saw the two Endermen. I wish it still wasn't night. Oh my goodness, that skeleton's gonna shoot me as soon as he sees me. Oh, he just shot. Didn't hit me. Didn't hit me. All right, there's a skeleton right next to a chest full of my stuff here. I just need some food. Just need enough to run. This is not gonna be a very good solid, like, source of food. And I shouldn't be eating these because I can farm these later. Hey, I see it. The stuff recovered. It wasn't all a failure. Beautiful. Grab all of that. Wait, why isn't it grabbing? Okay, there we go. <laughs> that scared me for a very quick second there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm not an idiot. That spider can travel faster than me when I'm walking. All right, let's just reheal here a bit. The 1.9 lets you reheal if you eat enough food like this. Boom, my rehealing is going up. Perfect. <laughs> All picked up. Beautiful. Where's my pants though? My leggings. Oh, there they are. Don't blow up! Oh, man. Grab it. Leggings. Bow that we got from the skeleton. All right, I'm gonna chest a bunch of the stuff, show you the farms that I've set up, and then we're gonna go on that one last quick Enderman hunt. I wanted to cave this episode too, so I'll probably do that at the end. And then next episode, oh, we already have an Enderman. Uh, next episode, I wanna work on, of course, getting it to the nether to get those blaze. Maybe get even a, a farm set up in there as well. A little bit past the village here, we have my farms. Right up here, you'll see some fences. I've constructed two farms so far. This is just gonna be a temporary area. I'm actually thinking of dedicating an entire episode on locating where we actually wanna live, but this is just for my basic survival needs for now. I've got a pig and a chicken farm set up with a bunch of pigs in this one already. Our chickens probably not prepared no you're not but you guys are awesome down there and I use the snow as like kind of the ground because with chicken farms they kind of got to be lower okay so because it's day right now we'll quickly go into a cave and get some valuables I've set up a chest here this is originally gonna be for just the pig and chicken specific items I'm just gonna put everything in here just so that we don't die like if we do die we don't die with everything that we've gotten or else everything would have been pointless so far and uh, we're gonna head down hopefully get some diamonds quick things along with some gold is the goal always good to collect some reeds by the way these are gonna be good for books when we run out of them even and clay I forgot about clay <laughs> I might want to build a building out of bricks or something Any more clay here oh we got an opening down in the little river here what do we got in here Oh, it looks like an, a cave opening. I was actually just about to go find the cave like I had said. We actually need a lot of iron anyways for the anvil, so this is good. What does it lead to, however? Can it go down deep or will we need to find another cave? Because what we are looking for, of course, is diamonds. Diamonds and gold and redstone. Those are the most needed things right now because redstone, of course, for like just functioning things and lapis will be needed later on when I need to enchant stuff and whatnot, but it looks like this actually leads somewhere. Oh, wait, oh. <gasps> diamonds already and redstone. Oh my gosh. How many? How many? How many? Oh, one, two, three. Oh, beautiful. I never, th I didn't actually expect to find uh, a lot of diamond in my first Let's Play episode here. That's actually awesome. <laughs> and I got a bunch of redstone. Wow. I'd never find diamonds that quickly. Is there any more here? Let's just go across this little river real quick. Get all the redstone we can. And all the iron we can as well. But it looks like that might have been it. Oh, and we have some lapis. We literally just got all of the ores we wanted except for gold. More lapis, and it looks like it just goes down more over there. This looks like a really good cave, actually. What do I want to do with those three diamonds? I think I might want to save them for a pick for the enchantment table, actually. We've got the- and gold! All in one! Okay, we burned one. That was stupid. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. We only had two and I burned one. I'm dumb. Yeah, I'm gonna make the pickaxe because we have pretty much everything we need now to get an enchantment table made. We just need two more diamonds, which at this rate might not be that hard to find. What's in here, I wonder? Oh my gosh! Don't blow those up, don't blow those up. We have more diamonds already. 
We have enough for an enchantment. Oh, jeez. That didn't blow up any of the diamonds, did it? No, the diamonds are absolutely safe. Look around. There's a lot here. Two, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. We have enough now. Let's make this pickaxe. And we have enough, it looks like, for a sword on top of that. Time to mine. Getting an upgrade. It looks like we skipped some achievements because we never actually got... Oh, we had another one. We never actually got the diamonds achievement. All right, guys. We're going to get the most boring part of the entire Let's Play out of the way right now. <laughs> I didn't think this would happen first episode, but we are mining the obsidian. Roger that. Done. We did it, guys. With a little simple cut, we got all of the obsidian we needed. And now, now we can make our enchantment table. Beautiful. Do we have any bo Oh, I put the books back upstairs. That's not a big deal. That's not a big deal. Holy moly, this, this freaking cave is just filled with everything. <laughs> We're also getting a lot of XP, which is good. No. Yes. Oh, he's dodging my hits now. Nothing. Dang. All right. So in this furnace, we should have 16 iron, 17 iron. We can make our anvil. We got two ender pearls in our little journey there, which was less than I kind of wanted. <laughs> but it's okay. Did I just forget how to make an anvil for a second? There we go. I'm a dummy. <laughs> and let's go ahead and put this. We'll just throw it down right here. So we've got an anvil made and now we'll go ahead and get our food so I'm baking some baked potatoes just so we have a lot and a lot of cooked stuff to go off of and now if we go into our chest we'll get the books the diamonds and the obby and we can quickly make our enchantment table ladies and gentlemen there we go now we didn't get an achievement for any of that because uh well unfortunately the achievements are in the wrong order let's see what we missed out on here it looks like oh what was that Oh, hello, buddy. You want to you want to toy with me? I don't think so. What are we missing here? Oh, we never got getting no, we got that. We didn't get that. It looks like we missed what leads up to the diamond that we didn't get yet. Oh, we should have gotten it. Interesting. Maybe we just didn't complete something when we actually got the diamonds in the first place, but I'm going to use those extra two diamonds and make a diamond sword for protection's sake. And then next episode, we can start enchanting those guys. We've got so many books. We could probably afford a level 30 setup, especially with that second village we found and all of those books as well. Eh, maybe not. We only have 62 books. I'm not sure if I took the other ones from the other chest. But you guys like the path block as well as experimenting with that. This is all but a temporary base, though. This is not where I'm actually going to live. But next episode, we are going to head into the nether. And we're going to get all of our ender pearls that we need. And hopefully, we'll have enough resources to get to that end. But I hope you guys all enjoyed the very first episode of this new Minecraft survival let's play here on Grazer's World of Awesome. If you did... Remember to leave a rating, and I will, of course, see you guys all again next time. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Goodbye!